A power sink is an 8TC item located under the tools category in the syndicate uplink. The power sink's description is as follows. Drains immense amounts of electricity from the grid. Use a wrench to connect it to wires. Well, it's pretty straightforward with that. However, it just says drains immense amount of electricity and connect it to the wires. It's not too specific because actually what you need to do is connect it to high voltage wires. And at least it does tell you about the wrench. So I will purchase one. And it immediately anchors to the floor. And it will continually, if you're standing on a high voltage wire, as you'll see, it'll continually draw more kilowatts of power faster and faster until it starts draining things. Obviously, you're not going to want to keep it here because this will get found immediately. But I have unpurposely toggled the FOV on so you can see areas lose power in real time, basically. And I'm not going to move it right now because obviously I'm not hiding it from anyone. This is to show you the real power of it. And let me just delete this wall to be... As you can see, the AME is running on this station, and power sinks aren't insanely powerful in terms of killing power. It takes time. That means you're not just screwed the second you place it. But already, the power sink is at 10%, and the substation here will drain before the power sink does. So basically, it doesn't have an immediate effect, especially if the station was doing good on power. It does not have an immediate effect. But it eventually, in a pretty large network, because if you think about how substations work and how the SMESs work, they are connected. Now, I'll quickly go over and show you how the SMESs are reacting. And remember, this is a map that has the Solaris hooked up and the AME running. We are back in engineering land, and as you can see, I'll just prove it, the AME is operating. And the SMESs are completely dead. All three of them are completely dead on this station. Larger stations, uh, power sinks kind of lose some effectiveness, but not that much. Not enough that, like, they're not useful, because they store quite a lot of power. And we'll just take a look. See, this substation's already down to 60%. And no lights are off yet. Station's still running with power, and this one's down to 70 Now, before power goes out completely, there is a very strong counter to power sinks. If the power sink is connected to the same wires... As a power monitoring console, okay, they're on the same network of high voltages, which I can show you real quick. You can see it is on the same high voltage network. It will low, it will show up on a power monitoring console as the power sink, and it will show its insane amount of kilowatt consumption. And it is basically just to let engineering know, yes, there is a power sink. That is why power is failing. However, if you're nifty, you could move the power sinks beforehand, like, especially if you're an engineer, you could just, or not move the power sink, if you're nifty, you could just move the power monitoring consoles before you actually do anything with the sink, and that could really throw off engineers. And just to reconfirm, this SMES is dead, APCs are losing charge, and I will return and show you what happens when the substations can't keep up. And already across the station, actually, surprisingly, not where the power sink is, is losing power. And what that does is it can really throw off everyone on the station, what's actually happening, because the first thing people will do is blame engineering for not having the AME running. And more aware engineers are gay, hey, what the hell? Uh, the AME's running. So they're going to go and check things like APCs and substations. Unt unless the console is directly telling people there is a power sink, the nobody assumes a power sink is a very infrequently, infrequently used item. Because it's so damn expensive, and like, you have to lug the thing around. And one thing I would advise doing, I'm not going to show you it, is you could literally build a little area, like right here even. I mean, obviously I wouldn't do it in security, but like, you could put the power sink here, connect to HVs to it from the same network, and just wall it in. And that makes it extremely difficult to stop. Because now you have to tear down a like a reinforced wall, or you can hide it with normal walls if you're trying to be more sneaky about it. And this substation is going to lose power, which means APCs are going to lose power. And there you go. More of the station has lost power, and it's been maybe about 10 minutes. Yes, this is a smaller station with less uh, SMESs to power everything. But it is a very powerful station-wide power-killing tool. And now that all the power is draining, I will show you what happens when the battery gets full. So the power sink is at 
And it is about to hit 100%. And, unfortunately, this is probably why the reason power sinks aren't very widely used. The explosion is very underwhelming. And as soon as it's gone, it... Like, the station will just go back to normal? Like, yeah, like, these wires aren't connected, but it literally only destroyed, uh, a few wires? So, I believe that's probably the reason you don't ever see them used, and yeah, like, this substation's already gaining power, the whole station's instantly back to normal. I don't know if the explosion's supposed to be bigger or not, to be honest, but that's really the explanation of the power sink. It just eats the whole station's power. And in a real test, it pretty much eats the whole station's power and will keep it offline for quite a while. But the final result of it is very underwhelming, and I think that's why people just result to blowing up substations or the AME itself, because that's a more permanent effect, where the power sink does it the same thing, but for almost half your TC. Anyways, this isn't necessarily for me to just give my opinion. Uh, hope you learn how to use the item. Maybe somebody will make good use of it or better use of it than me. But I have never seen it really used. So, let's see what happens. And just to be thorough, I didn't include this at first. Uh, one thing you can do is unwrench it. And when you unwrench it, you can actually just straight up pick it up. But there's no way you can put it in a backpack because it weighs just more than any backpack could possibly hold. So you have to keep it in your hand, but I guess it's better than just leaving it on the ground. And for whatever reason, you can throw it really far. So you could chuck it in the space, I guess. But yeah, so when you buy it and you need to move it, uh, just make sure no one sees you. Because uh, if anyone examines you and they see they are holding a power sink, uh, you're screwed. And remember, you have to put it back down on a high voltage and wrench it back down. And the action of wrenching it is actually pretty quick. But yeah, that's just to be thorough and explain the extra usage of it.